All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video on a bodybuilder named Tom Prince. Now, some of you guys may have heard about this bodybuilder and some of you guys may have not. Um, so this is a bodybuilder that has largely been forgotten and really fell off the map uh, right after his career. So I'm going to get to the reason for that later in this video. But first, let me just say this is not the same Tom Prince that played for the MLB as a catcher. Um, so when you guys are Googling Tom Prince, make sure you are looking at the right guy. This is Tom Prince, the bodybuilder, not Tom Prince, the baseball player. So Tom Prince was five foot eight, 312 pounds in the off season. And on average, he was about 230 pounds in competition. At some points, he did get up to about 270 pounds in competition. And those are some of the photos that you're gonna be seeing in this video uh, where he's looking absolutely massive. That was when he was about 270 pounds. So his competition history includes the 1997 NPC Nationals, which he won, the 1999 Night of Champions, which he placed 13th, the 2000 Ironman, which he placed ninth. The 2001 Night of Champions, where he placed third. The 2001 Olympia, where he placed 16th. The 2002 Night of Champions, where he placed seventh. Then the 2003 Night of Champions was where he first began to have some issues with his kidneys. Now, a lot of people think he actually retired after this, um, but he actually went on to try to compete in the 2006 Ironman competition as well. And that is where he officially had to withdraw because of kidney failure. Um, that, that was the point where he really retired. So at the 2003 Night of Champions, that's where he really started to have kidney issues, but he went on to compete there anyway. And then in 2006, he went on to try to compete in the Ironman, and that is where he weighed 276 pounds at that Ironman, and that is where he officially had kidney failure and he had to withdraw from that show. So technically, his last show was the 2003 Night of Champions, but while prepping for the 2006 Ironman, which he showed up to but ended up having to withdraw, that was really the last show he attempted and then retired. So he was also known to have had a problem with painkillers as well as steroids. Um, so the combination of, you know, abusing painkillers and abusing steroids was probably what led to some of the kidney issues that he had. Um, very luckily, I'm, I'm really glad that he was able to recover from this because after undergoing dialysis, his kidneys are now back to functioning on their own at 90%. Now, 90% is still obviously not as good as 100%, but a lot of people you know, after having kidney failure, they end up on dialysis for the rest of their life. So fortunately for this guy, this is really good for Tom Prince that he was able to get his kidneys back to functioning on their own at 90%. Obviously he's done with the steroids now. Um, and it's really good that they function on their own. So that's the story of Tom Prince. Kidney failure really ended his career, but at one point in time, he was one of the most massive bodybuilders on stage. I think he did have, you know, some pretty good potential. He only competed for a couple of years. I think he had some pretty good potential to maybe place well at like an Arnold Classic or like the Night of Champions that he was competing in. Um, so I think he did have potential, but it's unfortunate. But luckily, you know, this kidney failure thing, it might have saved his life had he continued competing. You know, he might have had some undetected kidney problems and never really realized what was wrong until it's too late and he might have died from it. So luckily he got out while he still could and he was able to return to 90% uh, kidney functions. That's good for him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.